Mixed Meaty Mayhem coming up. Is a soda can. I cut off the top and bottom. You have to be careful when you do that because it's very sharp. And what I'm going to do is use alcohol ink to color the sides here. This is lime green. I'm going to start with this one. It's a lighter color. Now Alcohol inks dry pretty fast. So you want to spread them as much as you can. I could use a dauber to get this done, but I want to try it this way. You know, let me get out by the denatured alcohol and spread that around a bit. I don't know what color. This is a green. I'm not sure which one because my when I took them on an airplane they got pressurized and they everything got messy. So I'm going to put that on there. I know it's a green. should put on gloves because my hands are getting nice and messy. That's all right. All right. Now I'm just going to let this dry. I'm going to hold this while it dries. And now I need to pick out some new colors. Those are going to be the summer leaves. I want to pick out some different colors for spring. Some, I think I might use just lime green for spring because it's brighter. Different color. You know, maybe lime, yeah, just lime green. So with that in mind, here's my next can. I'm going to cut this a little bit so that it'll lay you flatter. This doesn't hurt the scissors. Okay. Denatured alcohol. Pinata lime green. I'm just going to spread that around a bit. This is an old paintbrush. 
I can easily clean it with the denatured alcohol. I'm not worried about it. I'm going to set that aside and let it dry. Now I need to pick out different colors for fall. It's another mystery color. Let's see what that, that looks like an orange. We'll keep that out. And one more, I think. Let's see if I can find a um, yellow or a red. Oh, here's a good one. This is Poppy. Poppy Field. That's a red. Very pretty red. Okay. Okay. First the orange. Mystery orange. I'm going to spread that about around a bit. Still got a little bit of green on my paintbrush, but that's okay. Now, let's put some poppy on there. I'm not going to spread that with the brush. I'm just going to put some denatured alcohol on it and see what happens. Let that spread uh, organically. I love alcohol inks. You never know what you're going to get. But it almost always turns out beautiful. Okay, I'm going to leave that. Put the tops back on. It's important to put the tops back on your alcohol inks because they will do, they will evaporate given an opportunity and I'm just going to turn off the camera for a little bit until this dries a bit and I'll be right back okay I'm back this is um, the one I made for the spring tree of life it was just the lime green on it. Now I'm going to turn it over onto the back. I'm going to use just a regular old pencil. And I'm going to draw on the back. That's, I'm going to draw leaves on the back. Nothing fancy. I know you can't see it. But when you turn it over, you have this nice little leaf. I don't know if you can see that. When you turn it over, you have a nice little leaf with texture. I'm going to keep doing that. I'm going to do that all over this can until I don't have any room left. And I'm going to make them different sizes. And because this is the tree of life, it's going to have all different shapes, too. because the tree of life encompasses all types of life. All types of leaves. And I'm going to do this with all of the different colors. And then, then I'm going to cut them out with my handy dandy Harbor Freight scissors. And then 
I'll show you how I glued them on. These are different shapes. Okay, I'll be back. Hello. It's been 24 hours since I glued the leaves on. This is my summer tree of life. Now I'm going to take this tiny little size 7 um, crochet hook for making lace and I'm going to use it to shape these leaves a bit just by putting them under the under the leaves and just curling them under. And that works very well. I'm going to do this for all of them. Not for all of the leaves. I'm going to do this for all of the trees of life that have leaves on them. The winter one, of course, doesn't have a... doesn't have leaves on it. My... So I'm just going to do a few leaves here and there, just to give it some dimension. And to prevent the back side from showing, because remember the back side doesn't have any color besides the can on it, and I don't really want the colors of the can showing through. some of them I'm going to put it down the middle like so and bend the lead bend the edge the long edge up just for something different I'm not going to bend it up so far that the back is going to show though you don't have to use a crochet hook for this. Anything round and small will do. It doesn't have to be straight across either. It could be diagonal or whatever because um, leaves are not symmetric, aren't always symmetrical. They're all different shapes, especially on this tree of life where the leaves are all different types. Okay, I like that. I'm going to do the same to the rest now. And uh, I'll show them to you when I'm done.